What if you get some call center data like this? So you have the duration of each call, the product sold and the amount sold. So obviously you could go and create some pivot tables and have a chart per pivot table. So in this case, I have one for sales, one for product and one for average duration. You can also add a slicer, but I'm going to show you something even better. What if you could have a chart and have the KPIs as slicer? So you select the KPI and the chart automatically updates. You like this design? Let's go and set it up together. Let's add a pivot table with a twist. So click inside your data set, insert pivot table and put a tick mark next to add this data to the data model. Press OK. And here let me show you what happened. If you go to power pivot under data model manage, you have your table into the model. Let's double click here and call it data. Press enter. And if we go to diagram view, you can see your table. Now this will allow me to add measures. You will tell me why do you need measures? You can just take the country, put it in the rows and for example, take the sales amount and put it in the values. Well, that's okay, but the problem, I cannot use this in selections and you will see this in a bit. So let's remove this one, put it in the garbage. And since I have three KPIs, I need three measures. Let's right click on data, add measure. And here we're going to call it sum sales. Let's come to the formula sum of you have the data table and that's the sales amount double click close parenthesis nothing fancy here let's put a number with a thousand separator and zero decimal places that's one right click add measure and here we're gonna have avg duration let's do average open parenthesis this is my duration in seconds close parenthesis, same trick, press OK. And for the third one, right click, add measure. This is distinct product. And here you have distinct count, open parenthesis. This is my product, close parenthesis. Same thing for the number, press OK. Now, if I add them to my table like this, you see the calculations. Next step is to allow the user to select one of those three KPIs. So for this, we need a menu. So if you go to a restaurant, for example, you need a menu, right? So let's create this menu. We're gonna have the options here and I need to copy paste those three KPIs. So Control C, let's come here, Alt E S E for transpose. You can see it's underlined. Press OK, there we go. We need to fix the format. So the easiest way to do this is just to click on any cell and we go to home, use the format painter. And there we go. You see, you can work smarter and not harder. Now I need this in my data model. So the steps are number one, we have to transform this into an Excel table, which is kind of a database. So click here and do insert table or control T if you want to be fancy. This is my data. I have headers. Press OK. Let's call this slicer. Press enter. Now we click inside power pivot, add to data model. You can see down I have two sheets now. And if I go to diagram view, I can see my tables. I don't have to do anything here. So don't stress out about the model. What I want to do is insert a slicer. So click here, you go to all because your other table was hidden here. Slicer, right click and add a slicer. There we go. This is our fancy slicer. If you click, nothing happens. So we want to make it interactive. I need to connect this table to this table in a way so I can add what? A measure. And this measure will be my selection. So let's go here under data table, right click, add measure, make sure that you select the data table and this will be called selection. And here we're going to use a formula called values. I want the slicer options, close parenthesis, press OK. And now if you see, go to the data table, I have my selection. I have some sales, 
distinct product and average duration. The only problem you have here is, what if I have a naughty user? The person can use multi-select, try to select a second one, and I get an explosion because I can only select one value. And I don't want to see this behavior. So what do I do? I need to fix my measure. Right click, edit measure. And here, let me just bring this down. We are gonna use an if statement. So if open parenthesis, you know the if statement, logical test, true and false. So my logical test will be has one value and we are gonna select the options. So if I have one value, let me bring this value formula for the false. You can put a comma and then two times double quotation like this, but you don't need to. Let's just close the parenthesis, press OK. And now if you try to select a second one, it's blank. Perfect. Let's remove multi-select and select one of them. The last piece of the puzzle, and this will be my fifth measure, is to take the right measure based on the selection. So to do this, again, right click, add measure, and this one will be called KPI, finally. And my KPI will use a switch formula. What does it do? Open parenthesis, you need an expression, and then if the expression is equal to value one, then it will return result one. If it's equal to value two, result two, and so on. So my expression is what the user has selected, which is my other measure, which is called selection, comma. Then we start, if the user selected some sales, so that should be in double quotation because this is a text. So some sales and make sure you write it exactly the same, comma. Now I want my some sales measure. So here I type sum and you can see it, it has fx next to it. Let's take it from here. Comma. The second one is AVG duration. We do the same. Comma. AVG duration. It's here. Double click. Comma. The last one is distinct product. And then we take the measure distinct product. Close parenthesis. There we go. Let's do number 1000 separator, zero decimal. Perfect. Now, if I add this one, you can see that for average duration, I am getting 248, etc., which is here. If I do product, I get the number of products and some sales, same. So now that I have a KPI that is based on the selection, I can get rid of all those four measures. So one, two, three, and let's go up a little bit. Let's remove this one. Perfect. We can add a graph. Let's go to view first, remove those grid lines. I don't like them. Click inside our table, insert graph, select this graph. And you can see the graph is in front of my slicer. I don't want this. So click on the slicer, page layout, bring forward. Perfect. Let's clean up this chart. Right click on KPI, hide all field buttons on chart. Then let's delete a few things. So click on the axis. Press delete on the keyboard, same for total, same for total, and for the grid lines. Now let's click on France, Japan, and Spain. Go to home and bold it, and add our data labels. Click on them, bold them. Now let's move this a bit down, and let's color those bars in a different color. So click, we can make them blue. Now I can bring this on top and put it here. I'm going to remove the chart area. So click on it, right click. Here you have format chart area, fill. I don't want any fill and border. I don't want any line. Now let's close this, bring this graph a bit down because we're going to add some stuff on top and bring this here. Next, let's play with our slicer. So our slicer, if we select it, click on slicer, we can have now three columns. That's much better. Let's remove those annoying options. Right click, slicer settings, display headers, I don't want it. And this could be a bit smaller like this. The graph could be a bit smaller. There we go. Perfect. We cannot see distinct products, so just move it a bit like this. 
a bit like this now you can see it that's good i'm gonna add another slicer which is the product so click here go up this is my product right click add a slicer let's do the same thing here so let's just make it bigger and add the number of columns we're gonna add one more i think this is fine so as you can see we need more space so again we're gonna move this down and we're gonna move this a bit down that's good this one you can adjust it and now we just have to format our slicers how do we format our slicers i'm gonna show you let's take the first one it's ugly click on slicer and you can use a preset design now if i do this i still have this annoying box so i'm just gonna go here and if you click on this arrow down you can do a new style or right click duplicate this one and just change the whole slicer format border none press ok press ok and just go up select this new format now you see i don't have this annoying border let's play with this one this one we're gonna click slicer let's do the same thing we're gonna select this one right click duplicate whole slicer format i don't want border press ok and now we select it perfect now if you see i click on distinct product everything will update average duration i can select for example the skirt and so on and this is how you make this interactive kpi dashboard